Good morning everyone and welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. If you feel like it, hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down and I love it when you comment. That is my favorite part. Okay, so today it's evening. Um, even though I said good morning, it's good morning for you. It's evening for me, but I'm dyeing my hair. Yes, I'm dyeing it orange. We'll see how it turns out because I'm going from black to orange. I did get a haircut today. I shaved off some of the, you know, sides of my hair and my undercut in the back was pointed like this. Um, and now it's more flat. So with a point on the end. Um, that's what I did and I cut off a crap ton of hair um, my hair was probably down here now it's about here um, because it was so wishy-washy with all of the lengths um, because my hair was currently growing back from um, I don't know last year or the year before I don't remember when but I had shaved basically all of my hair except for the very top and so yeah that's what I did anyways that's not what this video is about um, but yeah I am just going to do a fun look. I'm feeling really Halloween-y. Um, I was going to do my hair red, but I found an orange in my stash. So I just went ahead with orange and yeah, I want to do some orange brows and we'll see how it turns out. This is just for fun. Nothing super serious. Um, yeah. I am taking a ColourPop cream liner in units. It's a little bit lighter than I would like. Don't worry, I'm going to do the rest of my makeup too. I don't know if you guys wanted to see me do some brows, but yeah, we're just playing around. And yeah, thank you for being here. I hope your day is good or goes good anything new happening with you <sighs> you know these color pop liners just break so easy if i could afford it i would buy all of the kvd brow pomades and just call it good um yeah i mean this is turning they're turning out pretty orange i'm kind of impressed with that except that it keeps breaking. Um, some of them are just, some of the ColourPop cream, ColourPop cream liners are so um, dry and don't really work very well in my opinion. I know people seem to really rave about them, but that's my opinion. What do you think? Do you have them? I have a huge cup of them because I bought like a deal one time. It was like a deal. I mean, it costs a lot of money, um, but it was like a big pack of them. Yeah, yeah. I have a lot of energy for only having like four hours of sleep. I don't know how that is, but it is. I'm taking this palette, the cake palette, and I'm going into the peach shade and throwing it on my brows because I need to. I'm using this shade just because this palette is just sitting on my desk right now. Gosh, you guys, I really hate how my autofocus thing works and how my camera sounds. Like, I really need some tips. I have a Rode mic that I have stretched out away from my camera to try to keep the sound of it auto focusing out of my videos and it's still not working so I don't know what to do no it's really annoying so I'm glad if you bear with my bullshit and my you know randomness I know I don't have like a whole lot of you but I do have a few of you and I appreciate you just so you know I need to tweeze or wax my brows. I normally wax them about every other week. It is that week that they need to go. I wax them every other week and then I um, tweeze them until that week, you know. Just because I'm lazy, I really should wax them every week, but I hate heating up a pot and getting everything out and dealing with that. 
I don't hate it. I like it. I like waxing people. It's so much fun. Um, when I was in school, like I'm just concealing with the L'Oreal and Fallible. When I was in school, I really wasn't interested in waxing. And when waxing started happening, I was like, this is awesome. I love it. I love the way that the hair looks after, you know, looking at the, the pool, you know, and the follicles and stuff. And I just, I really like the way it, it makes people look and transforms them. And I, I just, I love waxing and everything about it. I was terrified of brows, but you guys, brows are some of the easiest to wax in my opinion um, unless you have a really difficult shape on somebody or somebody has never done their brows before and they're just like untamed madness or that person is a really picky that's one thing like people can just like they'll show you a picture and be like I want this and you're like yo you don't have brows like that your brows are this thin and you want brows that are thicker than that like we're gonna have to draw that in like I can't fix that hello I'm just going in with the NYX total control drops or your face isn't shaped that way like it just doesn't work like your bridge line isn't like that um and people just don't seem to get that sometimes but yeah not that I'm actually waxing people I wish that was my full-time job but you know I really like giving massages to facial massages. Ugh, they're so relaxing even when I'm not the one getting it and I'm like the one giving it. If it sounded like I farted, it was my foot on my chair. <laughs> Just saying. Um, but yeah, it's a really relaxing. I didn't think I would like facials either, but I did. Um, yeah. So I have no idea really what I'm doing, but I just really wanted to give myself some orange brows. And it's been a while since I've done makeup. Um, it's been Monday. It is, what is today? I think it's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. Um, but Monday I went back to Daisha. I haven't done makeup for, for four days. That's a long time for me. Um, but I went back to day shift and so I'm getting up at five and, uh, yeah, I'm not, or five 30, I'm rolling out of bed and going to work. Like I don't get dressed like fancy or like, well, I mean, my job doesn't really permit that anyways, but I don't do anything because I'm just going to work exhausted and ready for the day to already be over. But, um, I, I'm going into the Alamar bronzing palette that I'm trying to pan and I'm just going into that, but I'm just too tired to do my makeup. So it's, um, and I've been really tired this whole week, just changing my schedule around. So I haven't even felt like coming home and doing makeup or doing makeup after dinner. But I do today, so, I mean, it's only Wednesday. Come on, I went to day shift on Monday, but, so, I'm hoping that I'll feel like this more often than not, so I can do fun filming when I get home. Um, I'm going to go into the bronzer shade, the center shade, and that palette. Oh, if BoxyCharm can actually flip and get it right for once... One of the add-on choices was a palette, a, an Alamar palette. I think it might be this exact one. Maybe it is their newer um, formulation. I'm not sure. I kind of hope it's the newer one. I didn't pay too much attention um, because I would like to see what's better about it because I love this one. Like, I do. I love it. Um, but yeah, I was excited to see it and I added it for my choice. Now, and I say I'm excited to see it and then I'm also like dreading it because 
I still haven't even finished this one. <laughs> um, but I really do love this product and I know that I will get use out of it and love that one too. So I was kind of excited about that. Okay. I'm in a really weird mood. I hope you guys are bearing with me. I'm going to use this shade and the Pure Bronze and Brighten palette. Uh, it's the Blushing Glow. This is in my project pan. Um, I'm just trying to get use out of it. I'm never, I don't think I'll ever be able to pan this shade, to be honest. Because, yeah. But, uh, I, what else was I going to say? I was going to say something. See how it's so pigmented. It doesn't take much at all. And uh, it's super orange. Um, I don't really like glowy br blushes. I know some people really do, but they're just not really my favorite. Um, I had something sort of, oh, you know what? Oh, I threw it on my nose. Why not? Let's, let's just go all out. I'm not doing anything serious right now. All right. We're just playing around. Um, but I had filmed two videos back to back and then I went to edit them and my mic wasn't plugged in all the way. So you can't hear me talk. So that was really sad. So some of those videos, those two, I couldn't really refilm either because I need to post them and I don't have time and one was a project pan and I threw away the empties. Here my kids, I'm sorry, it's the mom life. I don't know what I want to do for my eyes. But yeah, so that was really devastating too, by the way, like just having that happen and then I'm like, well, what do I do? I'm just going to have to use it and uh, I did and it's a voiceover so hopefully you guys don't hate me too bad. This video may be really freaking long. I don't know. Hopefully you guys can um, be okay with that. Uh, yeah. I mean, if you don't watch it all the way, that's cool. I'm really doing this for myself. And I want to talk about that actually because I was talking to Beauty Beatdown just about, you know, likes and subscribes and views and everything. And when I really break it down, I'm just going to go into the Alomar um, Cosmetics Rene Del, Rene, Rene Del Caribe palette. I'm going to go into that La Costa shade. I'm going to use it for my highlighter. But I am not doing this for anybody else, although, like, I enjoy your guys's company and comments and everything but this kind of helps with my depression like big time and the only I was trying to figure out why that is and it's just something I look forward to doing and it makes me feel busy it makes me feel accomplished like I'm accomplishing something like Oh, I know it doesn't seem like a big accomplishment, but you guys, I have really bad depression that I don't really talk about a lot and um, chronic depression and anxiety and those kinds of things. And this just kind of helps, sorry, I'm getting a brush. Doing this makes me feel accomplished. It gives me something to do. It gives me something to look forward to like I look forward to this and I mean I love my kids and I love my life and I, I you know love all that stuff but this I, I should just do one eye at a time this gives me something and it helps a lot creepy cute palette by shroud I'm going into void but yeah it I don't know. Does that make sense? Does anybody else understand what I'm saying? How this may, you know, help my depression? I don't, I don't know. Without the views, like even if I don't get views and I don't get that, and even though that kind of does affect me, I still feel accomplished just doing this so 
And you know what? I do my makeup for fun all the time anyway, so why not just film it? Um, even though there is quite a bit that goes into it, you know, editing and all of that kind of stuff, I still find it, I don't know, worth all of that. So yeah. What do you guys think about Tati coming back? Oh, that's like a hot topic in the beauty community. I was never like a big Tati fan. Don't hate me for that. She's a little bit too bougie for me. Like, guys, I'm not bougie. I uh, come from the bottom and <laughs> I'm still pretty far below on the bottom. Like. I am not rich, I am not well off, like, I'm living, okay, um, and she's just a little bit too bougie for me. But yeah, I don't know why I felt like doing this, but I did. I haven't used this palette in a while, but I will tell you, I do... Uh, I love the formula in these ones. I kept blowing it. I'm sorry. I hate fallout all over the place. I like to blow it off my palette. I don't care about kick up. I mean, I, I don't like kick up. I'm, I don't care about it, but I don't want it sitting in my palette, so I like to blow it off. Um, but yeah, what was I saying? I don't know. She's too bougie for me. That's just me. Oh, and I like this. I like these, you know, this formula for the most part. I haven't used this black in a while. Um, you really should lay down a um, eyeliner first. It really does help. I'm going to try to do a graphic liner using the Midas Cosmetics palette. I'm going to go into that tangerine touch. Or should I do the brighter one? I'm not. I'm going to go into the tangerine touch. Okay. I'm using a very long, thin brush. And this is going to get crazy. Graphic liner on camera. Um, yeah, so anything interesting? I already said that with you guys. You guys going on vacation for the summer? You're going to go camping? I have two camping trips planned, which will be fun. My kids always love camping. So, and I always like camping, although I think my older ones this year are going to have a hard time without their internet. So, you know, that's going to be a thing this year, I think. Um, as my kids have gotten older, they've gotten so attached to their devices. Okay, so that is that. It's kind of cool. Not bad. I mean, it's not perfect, right? But it looks okay, I think. Okay, and then the other thing that I want to do, because I am feeling super Halloween-y, first I'm going to throw on some freckles. I'll be right back. I started with the head first. Okay, my bad. Sucks, but it's a little bit better. I 
I need to get close. That's why I'm not stabilizing my hand and yeah. Okay, let's draw a smaller bat. They're not very good, you guys. What? It's whatevs. It works, okay? Not really. But, you know, it sort of works, right? Maybe I should just go all out and do a big black moon. What do you think? So I found my favorite glitter from Apocalyptic Beauty. I had actually lost this, rebought it. And so, yeah, I just dug through all of my glitter and we're going to use it. And it is called Apocalyptic Beauty Glitter All Hallows Eve. I love this stuff. And since I'm going wild, I might as well just go more wild. So I'm just going to place some glitter glue there. And I'm just gonna throw this on without any rhyme or reason because that is the um, mood I'm feeling. It has orange glitters and bats in it. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, throw it over here. I'm not going to do my stupid wannabe bats over here because it's just too much. So I'm just going to tap these babies on. I need more of the loose glitter, not the bats. Okay. Now that I look kind of funny, I'm going to do my other eye off camera. And uh, actually, I'm just not feeling this, so I'm going to... Connect this here. I should have stopped when I had the chance. This is sitting funny on shadow. All right, so now that I have done that and potentially ruined this look even more, I am going to hopefully try to shape this up a little bit more. Oh my gosh, you guys, so this is the finished look. It's kind of crazy. I took the moon off because I didn't like it, wasn't vibing with it. Um, but yeah, that is that. I threw on a lippy. I won't mention what it is. It's a brick red, in my opinion. Um, it looks kind of brown or, I don't know, almost even black on camera. But I won't mention the brand because I don't support them anymore or currently at this point. 
and I threw on some lashes. I extended my eyes here and I threw on a black waterline and yeah this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry I was super chatty and super crazy and all over the place. Um, but yeah, hopefully you, I don't know, found it entertaining or enjoyed this look. Um, yeah, I don't know when I'll have this posted. It'll probably be, um, a while. But yeah, thank you for watching, like I said, like a thousand times and putting up with my shenanigans. Hopefully I'll see you next time, okay? Bye!